Yo, yo, how's it going? All right, we we got dark again today. We're hello, working on our project. Hello, what's good? <laughs> so first, uh, we're thirty eight minutes late, and let me explain why. Okay, uh, I had an alarm for like seven a.m. today. <laughs> Tibet encoder. Hey, yo, thanks for the follow. So I set up my alarm at seven a.m. and check this out. It's eight thirty. I grab the phone and it just says alarm, you know, with like big letters on, on the screen. So I was like, hey, thanks for telling me, you know, thanks for like blowing up the, the letters so I can see them while I'm sleeping. But yeah, no, no sound, no alarm, an actual alarm. It was just letters on the screen, alarm. So I told Darko, we we're like, hey, I just woke up, man. We got like 30 minutes to prepare. And yeah, so I decided to, because I still haven't had my coffee. I just drank it, my first coffee. So I was like, you know what? You take the wheel today. I am in a no situation to code or anything like that. So yeah, I'll just tag along. Darko will share will share his screen. Yeah, and no we'll sound see what happens. to me before. It's wild. Yeah, like I don't I don't know how, why <laughs> like that. I th I feel like that's a crucial feature for phone alarms. You know, like sound <laughs> not letters yeah. no but, that's yeah. interesting i know how it's i don't know how it's like on iphone but i have never had that happen to me on android and stuff even though when i had it full silent the alarm yeah. still tends to work no matter what so right yeah like yeah. this is the first time that it happened i was like that's weird <laughs> it just <laughs> works i don't know man. it should just work <laughs> yeah right that, that, that's, that's what stevie said yeah <laughs> All right, well, so yeah, as I mentioned, I'm I'm just gonna tag along. Darko has prepared his screen sharing and, and and all these things. So, whoops, he's going to he's gonna lead the show today. I'm I'm just a passenger. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, let's let's dig in. Yeah, let's go. All right. So, sadly, I don't really have that Excalibur thing up and mm. running, but we can find that. It's in the repo. It's in the repo, of course. It's in the repo. Yeah. But you know, do you remember that I have that all like? Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this manual and do it on screen. As embarrassing as that. No, is. just go and... to Excalibur Draw and just drag it from your files. You know, you already oh, cloned it. Yes, I did yeah. clone that thing already. You are right, sir. Yeah, and you already yeah. saw probably that. Oh crap! This is something completely different. So let's find file in the repo which i'm doing off screen with because i'm running like four screens for <laughs> very very complicated reasons which i'm not going to get into today but let's find where's that repo man like it's it's a it's a bloody mess over here on the other screen yeah here we go rs discord and excalidro excalidro where do you, do you keep it in src or where do you keep that file oh i don't know it should be there somewhere we don't have like a lot of Yes, yeah. it's in docs. All right, drag and drop. Scroll back to content. Here we go. All right. So we are here. We got to the point. Okay, let's have a brief refresher before we dig into code. Last time we got started on building the subscribe thing. And yeah. actually, we had the good sense of uh, relying on the NPM ecosystem. We found out that there were a bunch of packages. We did use one that wasn't that good, but then we found FeedRat, right? Yeah. And FeedRat did the thing for us, and we got to the point at which we are supposed to test, uh, parse the URL which we got. Basically, just try to fetch the contents of the thing we, which we have. And then see whether that uh, feed actually works as an RSS feed or not, right? Right. Exactly, yeah. All right. So in order to achieve that, let's have a look at where we actually were with this thing. Uh, so hold up, there's TV migrations index. Yes, here we go. All right. And then we have like, we care about the routes and the server. So let's see. In the routes, we were, so post subscribe, here we go. There's a to-do, yeah. Yes, got the URL. We need to write that thing to the database. All right, perfect. 
So first thing first, uh, let's have a look at the schema. So in order to do this, we first need to define the table, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we're going to yeah. have to define a new table. Yeah, this is the global so, metadata table. We don't have the we don't have the other table. Yeah, so we need to define that thing. So let's go. Uh, do we want to draw it out first, maybe? We do have a draw it out. Oh, right? yes, we do. We do about, we yeah, that. there we go. There feeds. We go. So feeds, we have an ID, feed URL, page URL, title, description, link. Sure, that makes sense. So let's first export const. We are going to call this one, it was feeds. Are we fine with just feeds? I'm fine with just feeds, yeah. All right. db.feeds, right? Makes sense. Called feeds, yeah, for sure. And then we don't need any further options than that. And we need an ID, which would be an integer, primary key, not null, and an auto increment, I would say. Does That's, it exist? Uh, well, let's find out. It has not null, primary key. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay. Maybe let's check the drizzle folder and docs. Okay, then we don't care about studio, we care about the docs over here. Yes, and we want to search for primary, no, auto, auto increment, I would say. There we go. Syria. What is that? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, no, this is MySQL, we care about SQLite column types. All right. Yes, integer ID. Yes. Okay. So there's number, there's primary key. Oh, okay. check it out. Yeah. Yes. There we That's go. That's how it's done. Okay. We it's can also probably... do that in the uh, in the global metadata or not? I, but, I not, mean... no, not yeah. Not hmm. in this case because we, we only have one. We only have the ID of one. Yeah. So yeah, we always have better like to, one thing. So yeah. It's better to yeah. keep it as a manual there we go. And cool. you know, like, don't don't fix what ain't broken. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> we <can go> with <laughs> we... <that. laughs> so next up, we have the feed URL. Okay, then we go with feed URL, which would be a, a, a text, I guess, called feed URL, and it should not be null. And that's the extent of it, I think. We yeah. it is a mandatory thing because we always need one, so that should be fine. Yeah. Next up is the page URL, which, okay, we do have sort of a change from that, I guess. I'll bugger up. That, that's the mistakes that you're seeing in the autocomplete is just, you know, Copilot being smart. <laughs> Question, so, do we do we go uh, camel case or do we go snake case in this case? Oh, ah, snake that's case a in this case. very <laughs> good point. And that's a very good catch because it's a yeah. reflex for me. And <laughs> we should probably go that because we started that way, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good catch. So those two. Uh, I we... think these are the database and these are our interface, right? Mm, yeah, but uh, I was thinking that uh, let's have a brief look at the routes. The thing with that we get with Beckman the parsing thing. Yes, yeah. that's what I was referring to. So put or post subscribe. So we always have a feed URL, right? Yeah. And it's always a, oh, right, we get both. So we get a URL and we get a feed URL, right? What do we do in the case in which uh, the feed URL is directly sent as a full URL instead of just, uh, we don't have to do any discovery, you know? We, yeah. what do we do then? Because that would, then we don't really have a URL. We just have a feed URL. Do we care for that case to cover it or not? Well, at the end of the day, we can still have both, right? Cause the, mm -hmm. the URL was, was what the blog website, uh, we kept it for some reason. Yeah, the root domain. We kept it for the. Yeah. Why do we keep? Yeah, we 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 probably were keeping it for. Oh, because of yeah. Data enrichment and stuff like that, maybe. That was the reason. Was like I can. As a user, I can do I don't know uh, slash subscribe and just paste the URL of the blog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Within Discord, you know, so then we we save that, but then parse it later. 
in you know in a, in an actual video at all. So that's why we kind of got the two of them. And plus, I think yeah. it was it was the some data like the fav icon or something like that. If I'm not wrong. Yes, because that's uh, there are some pieces of data which aren't by default or always included into the RSS feed itself. Yeah. And, you know, while the standard is flexible enough to allow for whatever, mm -hmm. it doesn't really require people to put stuff in there for it to be a valid feed. So, yeah. Um, so we have covered the case in which like we get a URL and we discover the feed URL. But what happens to the URL itself when we get the full feed URL? Do we parse it back? Or what do we do with that particular field? I think we just save it. J you know, just as I... it is, like a full feed URL and that's it. Hmm. Well, I guess, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out later, but I, I think for now, let's just, you know, save it. Because we have it in the table. Uh, You're right. Yeah, or, or we can just, like, create a new URL and just grab the origin and just mm -hmm. paste it as the, uh, the page URL. The point was, yeah. you know, like, subscription and... And unsubscription, right? So, like, then I can do unsubscribe nicoleflazer.com and not care about, you know, like, letters and, you know, specific things. So I can just say unsubscribe mm -hmm. Nicole Flazer. So find it in a database, you know. But then we can also find it from the feed URL. So we yep, technically right. don't really need the page URL, I guess. Not right now, maybe. Maybe it will it will become more useful for the next version or whatever when we're trying to build in more more fancy stuff like yeah. fetching the favicon or fetching whatever titles, metadata description, whatever. Yeah. In in case we want to make the whole thing fancier. But yeah, let's stick to this. Let's keep both yeah. not not null. That was my basically uh what I was uh, having like second thoughts whether we need both of these to be not null. But yeah. let's keep them that way and we'll figure it out as mm -hmm. we go. So then there's title description, which are both basically. There's title, which goes text title, not mouth, basically. These and are going to be parsed, yeah. But these, and... we can obtain these from the from the feed itself, right? The, right. The XML contains that. Yeah, they, they always do, even though the description isn't always like, it's not mandatory. So yeah. we can leave this up to be yeah. nullable, probably. So, okay, and then next up is link and last item good and last item pop date. Okay, yeah. so let's first go with link, which will certainly need, which will text of link and certainly not null. Not yeah, null. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the... What is the link? What was the link for? Uh, Should have also to... added descriptions to the <laughs> properties. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think the link was the actual unique URL for the feed, for the item itself. In oh, okay, the, yeah. So the, the, the last yeah. three were the items, right? The GUID, the link, and the date, okay? Yeah, because like you can have a link to a feed. The link can be the link to a page, or it can be multiple yeah. things, because in some cases, an RSS feed, uh, well, you covered that last time, actually. Mm -hmm. we, a page might have multiple RSS feeds, and yeah. those RSS feeds might map to different pages. You know, it doesn't have to be a single page. So yeah. one RSS feed could have a root link of, let's say, page, a site slash a certain category, and another feed goes to another category and so forth. So we might want to keep that information for something. Yeah. Then there's last item GUID. Last item, good, which is a text and it's not null. And I hope that all of those people that have RSS feeds are being good internet citizens and keep this properly. So we don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, one thing. Yeah, these two need to be snake yeah, snakes as well. Snake case. Yes. I mean, you can't argue with the fact that. It's a bit more readable to use snake case, but you know, yeah. old habits die hard, I guess. Then there's last item pop date. Okay, last item pop date. Come on, man, you're being too smart. And I'm, I'm trying to hold copilot here. It, I it just mistyped a uh, tab by mistake and completed the whole thing for me. <laughs> Come on. 
and there's that would be that i think except this wouldn't be a text but it's supposed to be a date type and a let's find type, out yeah. whether it has a proper date type and it doesn't nice all right <laughs> <laughs> so let's see it's a blob with uh what kinds of modes does this thing have to the docs and there's like real text blob boolean and big int in the docs defined so yes we can keep it as like either a text or an integer so we can parse and see you know serialize and deserialize mm -hmm. it yeah so here's what they're doing oh okay yeah that's that cool. makes sense it's fine because it translates to text with a default of current date which is a yep. built-in thing mm -hmm. and i believe we can probably do the same right yeah so, we just need to pull up the SQL, mm -hmm. I think, and that's it. So what was it? It had a text date, and we need this part over here. The yeah. rest we don't care about. There's we don't need date. the null if it's a default, right? Exactly. So current date, and we need to pull in. It was SQL from Drizzle ORM. And, you know, to be like consistent we're gonna go single over here instead of double yeah and i think we have a table right yeah that's right? about it cool that looks good right. let's see whether we can migrate this thing properly so we had uh we just generate and push i think right that's the migrations were automatically oh wait yeah uh we need to go to the server if i'm not wrong Server no, TS? Mean... Or was Sir, it here? Okay, yes. No, wait a minute. Go go to the index in the DB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we put it there. Yeah, you see that? We, right on line 7, we import the global metadata. Now you need to pull the, uh, of course. the feeds now. Yeah. There we go. And there's and the there's... migrate DB. Actually, we're good, right? The DB seed, we don't need to seed the feeds. We just need to see the the global metadata, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so we So there's we like don't migrate to, yeah. DB and Yeah, but it'll it'll pick up on the migrations and the migration will happen when you do generate, right? So we'll automatically ah, yes. Yeah. We'll, so we don't need this here. We don't need that. Cool, yeah. Perfect. So the thing that we want to run is this thing. DB generate. Yeah. DB generate. Let's see whether something blows PMB, up. Yeah. Oh, PMB. Oh, PMB. Sorry, right. Old habits. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Famous Android. Let's see. Good. Very good. Perfect. Yeah. Let's check it out. So what do I have for checking databases? I have dbeaver. No, you got the, the studio. So you need to do oh, a push. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You are I like right. that. You know, it, it comes with the tools, etc. Like course. that's that's pretty cool. So yes. just do a push first, because this only generated the migrations for us, as far as I understand. But we need to uh -huh. do a push in order to, yeah, in order to grab the, yeah. There we go. Renamed from an upgrade. Feeds renamed table. What the hell? Well, it is not renamed, right? It created it and then like ran renamed, renamed it. This feeds table created or renamed? Ah, it's giving me a choice. It's created, man. Yeah. Yeah, like whatever. It's why <laughs> did it remove something? Okay, let's let's like just find that. So and we try. Were yeah. Supposed to run. We did run push, and now we did need to run studio, right? Yeah. PMPM run DB studio. What I like about PMPM is that you don't need to write run. Yep. yep. You don't? I didn't know that. Yeah. Just PMPM DB Studio. And... Oh, crap, man. Come on. I didn't really <laughs> copy this thing. Yeah, I'm sort of very used to, you know, running on... Or I can do this. 4983. Let's fucking go with that. Localhost 4983. Ah, yes, this is this one of those lovely things with Vivaldi in which, like, you have to actually write the protocol. Before the protocol, it. okay. Yes, for, uh, what was it? 
4983. All right. You have to write the protocol. In, <laughs> but And if you don't write it, it tries to run a, you know, cross uh, open and tries to hit a native application for whatever reason. Oh, but, like a deep link. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, we have this. We have a default channel announcement. So this is fine. Nothing broke yeah. there. Crap, man. Come on. Why didn't you handle the navigation properly? Like, and hitting feeds, back... Yeah. If hitting back on this in, inside this application basically does a full back, so yeah, maybe something for the drizzle guys. So we have it doesn't change the URL though. You see that? Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, the URL is fixed. It's just changing what you see on the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Be that as it may, it's probably some, it's a beta still, so probably something. Plus, these are fixed. you know. DB guys and we're web guys, so maybe that's the. <laughs> that's maybe something for us. You, you are right. Yeah, I agree. With that. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, like we have an ID feed URL, page URL, title description, link, last item, good, last item, update. I think we're good. Seems good to me. Seems good. LGTM. So anyway, we have the table. Next thing we need to do is do an entry. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, but okay, so the, the, the way that we need to really do this is first, like, try fetching the feed. We have an extra new line here. Uh, fetch the feed first in order to obtain the rest of the data. So, up to this point here, no ping, where the hell am I? Like, this is server index, we need routes. Okay, so up to this point we yeah. only have the url and the id which are automatic and the rest of oh, no i can do this thing because it allows me to do that thing yeah and so uh we have feed url and page url and we assume that we will have both for now and then we yeah. need to fetch title description link list item blah 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 okay so next thing we need did we ever install that feed extractor we did. Perfect. Yeah. So first thing first, we need to import that thing. Import metadata from... Yo, Monikos, what's up? Darko, how's it going? So we have... Okay, what does it export? Feed data, feed entry. And this is the point at which we're going to need the docs. So it was uh what was RTFM. The the thing? Yeah, true. And you, this is this fancy thing that I can do over here via DuckDuckGo because I'm using it. Okay. Oh you nice, yeah. Open it directly. <laughs> so okay, the thing that we need is extract. We already have a URL of the feed at this point, and we need to basically crawl, download whatever we want to call it. So First thing first, we need extract. So let's get extract. Yay, we have extract. And at this point, is this already async? It is async. Perfect. We want to uh, wait. Extract, or rather, let's see, const feed results. Let's call it results. Snake case, dark snake case. Results equals uh, wait extract feed URL. Bam. Good, good, perfect. And at this point, do we want to console log this thing, see what happens? We probably yeah, do. what do we get? Yeah, of course, feed results. All right, uh, do we want to return any of that? Maybe it mm. dies because of like, no, let's just go with success because if it's a circular JSON or something like that, it could... Yeah. Well, all you know, sorts of crap. Okay, yeah. So we want to make a request. Or do we have this thing running? We don't. We want to kill this. And then we had dev, right? We had dev. Yeah. NPM run dev. Let's go. Is it working? It's not. Yeah. Why NPM. is it not working? Right. Or PMPM. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> uh, PMPM. Dev. Dev. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So it wasn't that. Okay, let's it wasn't see that. What what's... is that? Oh, check it out. Feeds already exist. Yeah, you see that? We discussed this last time, right? Yes. We manually needed to add if exists or if not exists to the migrations. You are correct. 
So let's do yeah. that. We we did kill that one. We want to hit. Where was it? Not index, not routes. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, DB migrations one. and then the last migration that got generated. Mm. Ah, inside the migrations. Maybe. Inside the migrations, yeah, the actual SQL. Yeah, see that create yeah. table if not exists. Yes. We we, we added first. that manually. Yeah. Okay. That should be that should be by default, right? Or I, I don't know. I think so. How do how do people handle migrations on production because you can't do drop and create then you're dropping your productions database, right? Yeah, I mean, that doesn't really make much sense to me, but hey, maybe we're missing something. I need to spend yeah. <laughs> a bit more time with the docs here, perhaps. We'll see. So, okay, we want to ditch this thing. Monaco we asks, want... is there a way to squash the migrations? I wouldn't do that. You know, uh, I, I think having the migrations in like different, uh, different files is like version control in a way. It is. Because... It will allow you to later, if needed, you know, manually apply and execute these SQL queries. It, it's just like, you know, git revert or like go back a few commits, right? Yeah, and it doesn't cost to have these in like multiple files. Yeah, so we wanted to do a JSON thing and we had a URL in there, right? Yeah. So let's go. What do we want to try? Let's see HTTPS. What was your Lazar Nikolov? The other way. Nikolovlazar.com. Nikolov yeah. <laughs> All right. Nikolov, Lazar. I think Lazar Nikolov is a composer who's squatting my domain. So that's why I decided oh, to actually, go. Oh, actually, yeah. Google returns <laughs> another person when they're trying to Google yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> He's a Bulgarian composer, and yeah, yeah he doesn't. He's the fake one. You're the true one. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this was eighty, eighty dash or, or slash subscribe. I think we would maybe let's find out. Okay, yeah. it's, it's saying success. Let's see what that success. Okay, we have An something array. going on. Cool. We have title. We have a description. There we go. Oh, dude, nice. the link was there. There's the right. So we have the link and the page URL as well. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's gonna be the same, right? Yes, but if it's provided. If it's provided, <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> it's not necessarily in there. That's the real screw up yeah. here. Like, uh, we either have to believe that the feed is according to standard and you know, like mm -hmm. trust it, and you know just use that or check for that and maybe you know parse it out of the feed url that was sent we'll find out let's just first build it in the dumb yeah. way and then like do the smart thing and do all the checks and error checking and everything that we need to do it's yeah. like when i'm prototyping i'm usually working like that you're significantly more meticulous than i am that i've noticed <laughs> so <laughs> you know it was interesting <laughs> so okay the things that we actually care about from here is uh let's see feed results uh is the extractor throwing in case something happens like do we need to care about that as well i think it does so we can probably wrap it in a try catch but let's first yeah. try to parse something and then we'll do the try catch thing. yeah so let's just so we don't we forget have... yeah yeah or well, let's go with let. We can change it to const later if we need to. We have a title and a description and a link. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Smart copilot. Here's a cookie for you. And we you can also grab the about... entries. So we can yep. also get the last, like we can order them and then, yeah. You're right. Then we need to sort them out by yeah. date because they do have dates. So yes, this should be fine already. Okay. So at this point, so we had URL and ID up to this point, and at this point we have title, a description, we have the link. Besides the entries, do we need anything else? Let's check the schema. The schema says we have feed, title, description, link, last item, GUID, last item, public. So yeah. this is the point in which we need to sort the entries, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with 
uh, 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 um, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do this the nice way or the fun way? Let's go to uh, okay. Let's do. I guess nice one liner, ways. right? Yeah, Entry yeah, that's what that, I'm thinking. Yeah. Do 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 I want to do it the smartest way? So let's <laughs> be const. We have last entry because that's the thing we care about. And then there's mm -hmm. like entries dot sort. Uh, so we want A and B. Oh, then we have like uh, we need a uh, need date because these aren't. Yeah, dates, we need to parse that. Yeah, default, of course. So we have let's see, need date out of b dot uh, published yes minus or no we don't we get time do the yeah. get time thing of course because of the unix time thing and then you date of a dot published and again with the get time yeah do we have a return there uh, no, no 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 hold up hold up hold up this is just not going you to know work you can because... remove those yeah Yes, exactly. But oh man, now it's those are optional. Um, it seems. Yeah, it's, uh, value string or number. That, yeah, or argument type of date or undefined. So it's either going to be a date or an undefined. And if it if if it doesn't provide dates, then this whole thing. I mean, hmm, this is interesting. If, yeah. If we don't have a date. What the hell do we do if like an RSS feed doesn't keep dates? The last one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like how do you define one. the last one? It doesn't. Yeah, no, like the, the last <laughs> one in the in the array, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but each time they get regenerated, uh, the order mm -hmm. isn't guaranteed. So when the the xml gets yeah, yeah that's the problem like you <laughs> run the risk of reposting the same post basically you yeah. get the trigger but you don't really have the guarantee that you're going to publish the actual post that you're after yeah mm. I, I don't okay. know do we want to go like really complicated with this because like there is an option to do this deterministically but it means that we have to keep track of each article in existence for an rss feed yeah uh I don't like that. Let's No. That's too much, right? Uh-huh. It is. Let's so... just assume like let, let's just assume that the dates are provided. Okay. And if there are if they're not, someone's gonna open a GitHub issue. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. we'll and then we'll figure it out, right? Okay, fuck it. Let's go with that. We can do this thing, and then yeah. it's going to work. <laughs> oh man, like <laughs> this is fun. So anyway, we go with this and sort. We at this point we have them sorted properly. I hope. And this is and... uh by we're sorting in a uh, the... descending order so we need to get grab the first element right yes. not the last yeah yes i think it's supposed to be the first it was a we'll see. b minus a was like yeah it was descending and you know the real og way of checking out whether we have done something console log, yeah. not console log of course man like, okay it should be... so that's reassuring Let's see it should close, be the close, google close i think it is the Google blog post. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we have the last entry. Yeah. And at this point, we have last item good and last item pop date. So this is everything we need that yeah, we, got we need everything. to store. Besides, try, you know, running try catches and handling errors, but we're going to do that like after yeah. we're done with this thing. So, okay, we let's ditch last entry and we want to do a transaction. Doing a transaction was okay, so we want to go like do this, but instead of doing the new default channel, ah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a result of the insert thing. Yeah, we okay. need to do the returns as well. I, I think, I don't know, there was something like dot returns at the end if we want to mm -hmm. insert and then get. Returning the object. Yes. Returning. Yes. Yeah. 
and then again so again at the end i'm going to do the dumbest thing ever i'm gonna copy this thing over and we're going to call this thing like the last r no, or rather the new rss entry and we're going to change this this like uh point by point so insert into not global meta metadata but we want to insert into feeds and we have to import that from somewhere which would be yes it already imported it for us which is great so why doesn't this thing work so it has like oh the values probably oh uh, yeah that makes sense so we have an ID, we don't have to enter the ID because that's already automatic. Feed URL, feed URL, page URL, URL, and... Title description, okay. Just title description, smart link, link last item, last... good, nice. Oh, okay. check it out. That's smart. Yes, but I'm going to do the right thing now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's... Okay, we have this, like, that defined, yeah. Oh, you're actually using camel case over here. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's for the for the JavaScript world, right? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, we could probably there there's a bunch of sort of a movement on Twitter that yeah. advocates for using snake cases. Yeah. I tend to be on the fence, but I think that it's more readable. It requires yeah. some muscle memory to get used to, but like sure, why not? Totally. I mean, that's what I do in, in the set, like on line 83, you see that I I grab the default channel, but then I export it as a, I grab it as a snake case. I export it as a camel case. And mm -hmm. that was, you know, conflicting in the last episode, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with link here because we want no, to try we should We should give the page URL as just the URL, right? Okay. I mean, or we do we, could... do we, do we grab the domain out of the URL? Like new. URL and then grab dot origin something like that. Just in case, <laughs> you know, it, we'll keep the link because there's a link, right? We'll keep the link with the value of the actual feed, mm -hmm. but we'll keep the page URL with the value that the user provides us from Discord. Yeah. Okay. So feed. Okay. Anyway, uh, the the URL will always be the OG URL that a user basically Post requests it, yeah. yeah okay so then yeah okay we do the page URL for that maybe it's a misnomer to call it page URL but you know yeah. we can discuss that later it doesn't matter and we have the feed URL up there why is it complaining for feed URL or undefined no it is defined last entry dot Oh no, hold up. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Is it good? Hold up. No, it's ID. Yes, it's called ID. That's fine. And last entry published. Yes. Ah, yes. That's because not it's, it's a text, what, right? Yes. No, no, but uh, it's it's that's not the problem. This might actually be undefined. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because we when we're sorting them and we're getting the first item of that sorting thing. We and, get the yeah. original record, and the original record doesn't exactly polyfill this thing. So yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, do we do the dumb thing and go for a new date here? Let's just go with a new date, I guess. Yeah. Fuck it. New date. That do I do we need an ISO string or not? We probably don't. Or uh, hmm, this is a good. Uh... With which format do we keep that right? Probably ISO string because this what? is an ISO string. ISO string. What does the current date? Because we said the in, in the schema we said that to be the default of current date. Ah yes 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 yes. So That's what what the, what is question. that format look like? Like what is the current date returning? So we should probably you know mirror that. Mm -hmm. Let's try something like let's just not write this thing, okay? Okay. And because this should work, maybe what is it complaining for? Oh man, so many years. 
uh, and it has like feed URL underlined. Hmm. Any ideas here? It says that the link is messing it up. Link is string, SQL unknown, or placeholder or string any. What the hell? We just I mean, need it's... strings in pretty much all the cases. So like, yeah. I think, uh, I think the extract thing, you know, the 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 package re tries to be smarter and just like re tries to parse mm -hmm. things. I would just rather get them as strings and do the parsing myself. Yeah, I don't know, because if you if you like check out the link, oh, it's a string or undefined. Yeah, it's it's not mandatory. That's the thing. Like mm -hmm. none of these are mandatory. So. So, if we want to go the non not null route, we are gonna yeah. have to be smart ourselves. Yeah. Well, let's let's make them nullable. Okay. Because there's no way for us to find out. That's fair. These, do we change them yeah, in the schema values. or do we change them here? Well, in the schema. In the schema. Right. All right. Yeah. So the idea we always need these two are basically guaranteed to be always present, but neither of these. Are. yeah so this one goes up all right yeah and even the the now we have the last item pub day we have the default we don't even need to have the default as well right because it's going That's to set true. that as like the current date and yes. make it a new post you're actually right because if we don't have a date by default guaranteed we don't need to polyfill for it or define default yeah. values so yeah. Okay. Let's see. Mancanos we... asks, can we not forget UTC or not? What ah. do you mean? <laughs> can we not forget UTC? <laughs> time zones and default time zones, I imagine. Oh damn. I guess I guess that. Yeah. This is getting more complicated by the second. Are you <laughs> noticing that? Well we're working <laughs> with dates, right? Yeah. It's a tough problem, man. So we had like we want to set not a default channel, but what was it called? Or rather, okay, we have the values. Ah, yeah, this was what are we doing on a conflict? We're just throwing an error. Are, what do we do in this particular case? Do we care for on conflict to update or not? Because we're not going to have any conflicts because we're not providing the primary key in this case. So it's just going to be yes. like a duplicate, right? Yeah, but uh, we need a check about whether the certain yeah. URL exists or not. So yeah, so like, have we already subscribed to this? Because I can do subscribe, I don't know, NicoleFlazer.com and like paste that message a bunch mm -hmm. of times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if we can probably match on the root domain, because that's already like yeah. a guarantee that it's unique enough. So we, this, this one can go to hell, basically. Yeah. And we have like a global date, not global RSS entry. We go with what is this thing returning? It returns the whole table. And mm -hmm. we need to pick out or project any of the properties that we want to, you know, get back. So like, uh, and new, the new RSS entry, we don't even need that as well, I think. But yeah, this is where, where we define what we want, what we want back, right? Uh -huh. And it's not going to be message. like the new RSS entry, but it's going to be the properties that we want back. Yes, I would say, hmm, let's see. What properties do we want back? Do we have that defined in Excalibur or not? I don't think we have that defined in Excalibur. I think we were talking about, so when, when we subscribe, I think we only grabbed the last article and we posted that to Discord just as a as like a an indicator to the user that you know the parsing has been done mm -hmm. and and here's the last post for that URL. Yeah. So we did that. Yeah. We can we can only grab like the last and we already have the last, right? Yeah, like last entry we have it here and Yeah. We, yeah, could, we could just to be truthful, that. we could return the last entry GUID and then filter it out from the entries lists again. 
Um, Because we get the GUID from the database, which is Ah. going to be the main source of truth, right? Yes, that way we have a guarantee that it's written and we're actually not just... Yeah, like whatever's in the database, that's what we care. Whatever's in the database, grab that and now try to fish out that GUID from the entries list. We want feeds that... What was it called? Uh, Last item GUID, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we want. And this is returning just the new entry of the operation. We're sure of uh, that, right? Yeah, we can just even change the new RSS entry into... Because uh, that's a key. Yeah, you're right. Like Yeah, last... we can just say last item go it, yeah. But we already had that somewhere, didn't we? We didn't. We didn't. Okay. Last item go it. As a variable, I mean, so that I'm not rewriting anything. Yeah. Okay, and then we want to... Then we want to fish uh, out again. Entry equals... Let's entries.find. There we go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Good copilot. Here's a cookie for you and stuff. <laughs> entry.id, is... right? It was the entry.id. I think it was. Let's see how they're defined. We had that somewhere in the log. Yes. ID. Yes, it's oh, ID. that's the... Yeah, but that's like the... Okay. The, no, the whole it's, URL. It's, um... Some have like timestamps, some have yeah. actual goods, some it, have like yeah, URLs. the ID is always unique. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, important. That's yeah, so this way we can just say return, let's say last entry. We just want to return, I guess, the entry or like message mm-hmm. success payload entry, right? Essentially, this entry, yes, I think we're good here, yeah. Let's find out where we are. And here goes nothing. There we go. All right. Nice. Very so nice. Is this correct? This is what I'm worried about. Or rather, we are just mirroring the thing, but the date should be fine here. 6th of July. Yeah, that's that should be correct. That's when I published this article. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. So let's see what's going on inside the database. That's what I'm really curious about. What was the time, though? Can you Can you open? Uh, sure. Uh, it says midnight. Yeah. Okay, so so it takes out the clock, I guess. I'm not sure. What do you have in the raw feed? Because I don't really have. Oh, we can change. Do we have like an RSS uh, link to that? We really don't here. To hmm. what? To your RSS feed entry directly. We don't really. Have oh, will we? Feed. If we keep the console log, mm-hmm. we should see it. In the log. We are keeping it somewhere. Uh, so here's like ID. Here's the. Link. I mean the 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 actual feed. Yeah. So this uh, is the link. No, this is the link to the article itself, not yeah, to. Yeah. Because I have it like. Oh, but hold up! All of your entries are with like. All of them are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's see. Uh, I'm gonna open it on my end. nicolaslazarcom slash feed.xml. These are all midnight. Okay, so Astro generates these as like midnight GMT. Mm-hmm. Well, right. I think because that's what how I that's how I keep them actually. Mm-hmm. I manually add the pub date. Ah, right. You know, yeah, I manually add the pub date, and I don't keep the time. I just say I publish this on this day. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm doing pretty much the same thing on everything, and it works fine because, like, yeah. you don't need the granularity of the hours, so yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the database here. What was like DB Studio? Okay, and we need to we need to generate and push again because we? we change these from not null to nullable. Uh, we ah. change the schema, yeah. You're right. PNPM DB generate. Yeah. Okay, then PNPM DB push. Yeah. So, yes, remove it, whatever. And then we want to run the whole thing once more because we dropped the table and we don't have any data in there. Yeah, so PNPM again. <laughs> yes, oh man. Can you, can you check the new migrations? Just to see what's up, because I think I feel like we need to add, if not exists again. 
No. Oh, there's nothing in there. What is it? And like, ah, yeah, you mean this one? Uh huh. It's uh, empty. So, Escalate does not support drop default from column. Due to that, we don't, we don't generate. generate migration automatically. It has to be done manually. What? God damn, what? Go to the previous one then. Okay. And remove the not null ah, on like the this, this one, title the and, one the, below and the one below. Yeah. And the default over here. And the default, yeah. So now we have to do PMP. And also the default. You you keep the default keyword in there. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is, yeah. DB dot uh, push migrate. What was it? Uh, we need to push again because we changed the. Oh, actually, no. When we do push, let's do push just in case because generate did that for us, but we need to do a push now. No change. Okay. So now, now we're, we're we should be good. Yeah. If we do, if we just run the server, it'll pick up on the migrations, right? And okay. So it broke. Mm -hmm. Roll Failed back. to run the query. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, it it no. treats this, yeah. It treats this as a migration, so you should delete the second one, yeah. Okay, ta -ta. Let's see whether that works now. Of course, it doesn't. Okay. What's up? So. No file found in source oh, migrations. It's, it's... Oh, yeah, it has the meta. Yeah, delete the meta as well and check out the journey. Journey. What is that? It yeah, there we go. The entries. Too. Kill that one too. Okay, this is some, I guess, potential for improvement, I would say. Yeah. Dev, and it's alive. Cool. Perfect. Okay, it's let's. Happy. We're happy. Same thing. Same thing works. Okay. Okay. So let's kill the server. Where was it? Oh, no, wrong. Kill the server and then pnpm. DB, what was it? Studio. Yeah, DB Studio. Okay, and then we four nine eight three. I think I do have it open. I do. So let's do a refresh. Okay, we have two feeds. Of course, we have two feeds. We have, we have the same one yeah. already. Oh, okay. check out the update. Ah, <laughs> but that's the right. that's the second entry though. Uh -huh. You see that? Did it really drop the table? Because like it it, okay. it didn't drop, but check it out. The date is 14th of July. That's today. That's the default date, mm -hmm. which means so, that the second time it didn't actually parse the publication date. Yes. Yeah. We didn't. OK, let's try something. Let's see. What are we actually doing in code over here? Okay, let's see. Robots. Uh, we are doing this thing. Oh, but we did remove uh, the date from the values. Sorry. Do you remember that? We did remove the date from the values completely because we wanted to check something out, but they totally forgot. What oh we yeah, we don't even to. we don't even care. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, last item pub date, last entry dot published, but if it exists and if it doesn't. What do we do? We didn't really like decide mm -hmm. on that one. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not sure what to do here. What would be the smart thing? Basically, like you don't do want to keep, keep it as today, right? No. For or well, it's it's you know uh, telling us when was the last crawl done on this particular feed as well, because mm -hmm. when we crawl them, we are going to update this table anyway. Yeah. So it, it might be a semi sane default. I'm not sure. So maybe do we want to do a new date here? That's what I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. Well, just do a new date, I guess. I don't know. Because we, we do need to have a date, right? And if we I mean, we certainly need something, but what's yeah. that thing we need? Like that's, oh, come on, man. It wasn't too, too. No, no, no you're missing the parentheses. Ah, right. Days, yeah. Two ISO string. Yes, this is the thing we wanted, Karen. Come on, man. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it needs to be just a date, not a string. Ah, all right. 
There you go, sir. Is it? No, it's no. not. It's not. Wait, <laughs> it doesn't need, right? It's we're inserting and we removed the not null. So even if we don't insert a date, that's going to be okay. We don't need the new date. So the error should not be. It's, I don't think that's the error, right? No, once we remove that thing, like it's it's all happy. But let's let's bring it back. Just the publish one, mm -hmm. just this one. Just like hit tab and let's see what seems to be the issue. Date is not assignable to string. Oh, so this might be a date type. That might so... be a date, yeah. Oh, the so publish one. So, see. but no, wait, wait, wait. Can you do uh on the on the last item pub date, mm -hmm. we have the published. Then if it exists, we can do two ISO string or something like that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. On Let's itself, yeah. Yes, you are right. So published dot. Just like directly, so, yeah. Yes, ISO. yes, yes, yes. It yes, should, yeah, ISO it should be string. happy. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a new date to ISO No, just, just like call it, you know. We don't need we don't need a fallback. Yeah, just like invoke that and don't do the new date. Yeah. It should be happy. Okay. Or like Yeah. Yeah, this should be fine. Or null. Yeah, or like remove the ternary. So we just do publish to ISO, ISO string in that Ah, you mean the full thing in yeah, sure. Yeah. Why the hell not? It's not happy. It's happy. It is, it is happy, happy. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. There we go. So we're doing a third entry for your feed. Let's do yeah. it. Uh, Let's see if it comes up with a date. Yes. Come on. Shut up. Yes. There we go. And then we have like PMP and dev. That's what we're after. There we go. You should open the studio in like a different terminal. Pro <laughs> so you don't switch yeah. out between. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should. Yeah. So this is, we wanted to do this. Yes, we yeah. want to do a send. Oh, ah. man, publish to, OK, it's not a function. Function. Why is it not a function? Because it's not a date. It's mistyped. It's mistyped? It is. Now, here's the deal. OK, let's, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's do this. What does this last entry? Let's see what do the types actually say here? published it says feed entry or no what no hold on it doesn't exist what no no this is fucking fishing let's see yeah no never mind i'm gonna log we're not logging out anything entry. yeah i'm not because i removed that thing and let's see, let's do a console log last entry. Okay. And then we can just comment this thing out and see what we get. It doesn't matter if we spam the database, nobody cares about that. That's fine. Ta ta. And let's see what do we have in here? Not in here, in here. Yeah. Okay. So it does have a published. Like, what the hell, man? Yeah, and it's a string. So I, I, f I think that just the types are wrong, you know, mm -hmm. that we get like from that. the extractor. Yeah. So I mean, the, like, want to this has as... to be a string. There's like no way it's not a string. Who's going to give you the if this only parses it and returns mm -hmm. it? It's always a string. Even if it's like JSON, it's a string. Do you or want it could to be a number. Yeah. Do you want to normalize this in like a decent way before we send it over here? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Const normalize publish. Publish equals last entry publish to ISO string if it exists, but we want to do like. But if it's a as... type of date, then we'll invoke the ISO string, you know? Is this going to work? It should. Yeah, but we don't do the ISO string now because it's, it's already a string. Like if the type of published. Is ah, a yes, date. Yes, yes. That's when we return the ISO string. Otherwise, we'll just return that as a string. Yeah. You're right. Last you can time. do the entry, like the the ternary, I think, as well. 
Yeah, but we like, should do the ternary for sure. Yeah. Last published. Then we want to do. No, last... is the 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 type of published is string. Then we return. Oh, but we it it can also be mm -hmm. nullable. So there's like now I don't think a ternary would. It, it it should be a ternary within the ternary. So first we need to check if it exists or not. If it exists, we should check if the type is a. Is a <clears throat> string. Yeah, it's a string. If it's a string, you just return it. If it's a date, then you do the two ISO string. So. But it's never going <laughs> to be a date. We it can't be a date. It, because it, it's, I know it's, it cannot be a date unless. I don't it's know not unless parsing, the. It's leaving it as a string because this is basically. I know, yeah, but in our case, yeah. So. Does uh, does the extractor even try to you know like parse it? I don't think it does. Let's maybe check the docs, see whether it does anything fancy or not. Let's go to the. Okay. Mm, we have an extract. Okay, APIs. We do care about the API for extract. It says okay and published ISO date time string. It's a string. It's a string. It's always a string. So let's just treat it as maybe their types are messed up. Yeah. So if last entry dot exists, yeah, then we just then cast we... it as a string. Yes, we return the string. Oh come on, man. You're not that smart today, are you? <laughs> Published. Like and then we do a new date as a fallback to ISO string. Do we want to do like publish that string? Where we don't need, the, yeah, we don't need the question marks there because it's going to exist, right? Yeah, at that point yeah. it does. And we do as string here. Probably, yeah. Can we? Or, oh, Shit. wait. You have the colon after published. Ah, I think, yes. yeah, that's why that's the error is the happening. Question mark. And now oh, no, it's again. complaining about this to type. It's not a date for fuck's sake. Come on. Oh, wait, you're returning a date. Did you add oh, the to ISO string in the other, like in the ternary? Mm, no, like uh, you mean here or where? In which we can ternary? see it from your camera. Scroll up okay, just a little scroll bit. Up. Scroll, oh, scroll, scroll. Okay, there we go. It's an ISO string. Okay, so it's always a string. It is. I don't get yeah. this. So we can do the dumbest thing in existence. As a known as string, yeah. <laughs> or any as string, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm horrible, man. I'm a horrible person. I know. I own it. You're not horrible. <laughs> if, if if the types were correct, we wouldn't be doing this, right? Yeah, I mean, I would probably get scolded by tech Twitter for pulling shit like this. So, you know, <laughs> I'm being self-conscious, let's call it. So let's see what goes on with the normalist publish. The so, risks uh, of live streaming, public. you know. <laughs> I know, I know. Being public with your crap, you know. There's there's no rug to, to sweep things under it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That sucks. laughs> okay, but yeah, we, we did expect this thing to happen because we didn't really change anything in the logic below. Yes, it is a fucking string. Okay. It is a string, yeah. And then we want to do the normalized publish and give it here. Let's yeah. update. Are you going to complain? Oh, fuck you. Come on. Yes. Okay. It's there not complaining. Go. Amazing. We might Let's be having now. something now. We want to go to Postman and do a send. It didn't okay. die, which is amazing. And then, yes, I might want to open another terminal. How? Hmm, I, I wonder, because this is a shell over my shell, whether my shortcuts are going to actually work here. So, oh, yes, we have we files, go. ladies and gentlemen. So we have PMPMDB Studio. PMPM. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and I also have a history to use, but you know. Yeah, okay. We know, we know, Drizzle. We know you're in beta. We're fine with that. Okay, let's see. Okay, we there have we an entry with a date. 6th of July. Yeah, that's the, the correct date. Cool. Amazing. Okay. So now we sort of have what we want, but now we need to check whether we have a record yeah. for that particular thing we're trying to exactly. input. Okay. In order to achieve that, we... You know, we have like 18 minutes, right? 
Yeah, 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 I'm aware. Uh, so do we want to get this started and get to a point and see like whether it, it works yeah, or not? not? Yeah, let's let's, let's get it started. And if not, we'll just do to do for the next stream. Yeah, of course. So uh, we deterministically know that, let's see, the URL here is the thing that determines whether something is unique or not. And we want to hit the URL, the page URL here. Yeah. In order to compare the two via URL parsing, probably, and checking whether the actual domain name is the same, because that's the important yeah. part of that story. I, I wanted to... I wanted to say, like, we should probably only grab, like, the... Should we do the origin? Oh, no. You know what? We should we should do the feed URL, you know? Because, as I, like I mentioned in the previous stream, I've seen some of, you know, uh, some of, like, writers having different endpoints for their mm -hmm. different categories. So, like, for example, in my case, it's just nicoleflazer.com slash feed. Yeah. Feed.xml. But I've seen people have like feed slash or something like something like, I don't know, webdev.xml, mobile.xml, python.xml, whatever, you know, their, yeah, you know, yeah. their categories, basically. So mm. if we grab the origin, we can, we can only subscribe to one feed per origin, but that's not. That's not the point here. Yeah. So we should we should get grab the feed URL. Okay, right? So, so if you wanna check the feed URL, that's like if it's a single feed, like in my case, mm -hmm. it'll say, oh, that already exists. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're if right it's uh and we already uh anticipated this, if if I just say nicoleflazer.com and I have multiple feeds for my categories, uh at least in Excalibur, we mentioned that we should we should cut that you know we should cut the process early, and say you know what which which feed do you want to? Where was yeah. it? I think it's it was supposed to be somewhere. Let's see, not refresh feeds. It's certainly not there. Yeah, but we discussed it, right? Like in case there's it's... like multiple. Can't find the URL. No, that that was not it. Or hmm. maybe we didn't. Maybe maybe we just talked about it, but we didn't I actually. I think we just talked about it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't really specifically recall drawing that thing, but <laughs> yeah, it's um. You, you're right. Uh, the thing that we should be looking for or comparing against is the feed URL itself. Yeah. So we are comparing an entry URL against a feed URL, yeah. and if it's it should be an exact match, right? in yeah. order to determine it's a duplicate. Yeah. We sort of have a problem though. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, we do now. Yeah, because if they continue doing just URLs, sending just base URLs, mm -hmm. yeah, I think we need to strategize for a bit here. Yeah, we before. need that check. You know, we need that additional check here. Like if it's a domain, discover the actual URL. But what if there's like multiple feeds? We don't have yeah. that. We don't have that drawn here. So like when when, yeah. when we see the UR here, we need to actually expand on that. We need another branch. You know, we need another branch. Actually yeah. not uh, before the we test parsing. So only in the success branch, we need another check there. Like I I if so it's a, like, if it's like uh, a one feed, a single feed, or if there are multiple feeds, under the same domain yeah but i'm thinking something different in addition to that because like mm -hmm. um how do we determine after that step which feed do we actually want because if we have like yeah. let's say five feeds or whatever we well we we return the user we return them to the user and say like you know we found multiple feeds so just mm -hmm. paste the just copy paste the the one that you want so at this point, we're not going to do the subscribe, but we're going yeah. to return the list of feeds. Yeah, like an error. I actually agree with that. That's yeah. Like, that's okay, you're so trying to subscribe to, I don't know, nicolaflazer.com, but to which one? Here's a list that we found mm -hmm. of Nicola Flazer feeds. 
copy paste yeah. the actual like URL with the you know with the feed at the bottom and so then paste that and then down. try it again yeah I'm gonna move that thing down and I'm gonna hold up man like we want to just move the arrow upwards yeah. and we want to move this arrow upwards no not that one Th this one is fine actually yes that was fine right. yeah this and remove one... the URL here as well because that that was our checkpoint yeah, we're we already, I think, one. pretty much past that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are. And then, okay, this needs to move here. This could move. And this wasn't connected. Okay, it is. Mind. I think you need to drag the uh, oh, the little thing, dot at yes. the label, yeah. Where you are, right. Okay. Or this could go here, maybe, for the sakes of symmetry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can make this look nicer a bit later. I know I fucked it up. <laughs> Don't be mad with me. <laughs> so we have, okay, the done should probably go here. Okay, and fail goes to this. All right, so we have an intermediate step here yeah. that basically needs a fork, right? Yeah. Oh no! It, it actually it doesn't need a fork. It needs the uh, the activity first, the action. Oh yeah, it does yeah. Need for action. the check, check. You know, if it's a single feed. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Check if it's a single feed. Yeah, or okay. multiple. If there are multiple feeds, then we need to oh. reply back in Discord. Saying that we found multiple feeds and we don't know which which feed you want to subscribe to, so just copy paste mm -hmm. the actual URL, you know, and try subscribing to the actual feed URL, not the domain, basically. Yeah. We have this, and then we in this we have like if it's a single feed, we need an just go test parsing here. the URL, yeah. Yes here and we need this and we need to add like single yeah maybe this is fine and then like we need another action over here and then we need another arrow over here as well yeah man i fucked up your chart man i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> and then here we need multiple yeah and then like return I'll just like the the one at the top reply back in discord right yeah return uh, feed, list of feed rules to the user to the user yeah okay yeah so they don't yeah cool okay we have this okay so maybe we can just do this step in which we like return the list of feeds because that's probably yeah. an easy thing we can but we need to find we need to find so we have like feed uh, url we yeah. uh, here's the thing we have a zero but we need to figure out whether uh, the length of uh where was it async find feed is more than one essentially yeah okay okay so if or not Let's see, let's do this instead. Const list of URLs equals, oh wait, this thing. And that should already return. It's an any. Why is it an any for God's sake? Okay, never mind. We don't have we didn't have types for the thing, right? We didn't really yeah. have a types for feed rat. Yeah, yeah. We have it defined as a module. Okay. So if uh, list of your else dot length. Oh, I need an if here. Is more than one. Then we return. And what do we return in the message? We say like, oh. <laughs> do you see this? <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. Multiple feeds found. Please yeah. choose one. Please. Oh, please choose one. And paste it back, maybe. What do we 
Yeah, but we'll we'll figure speaking. out the m yeah, messaging fine. later when we actually you know start working with the Discord. Yes, we do have feeds and response dot status. This is hmm, this is interesting. This is not necessarily an error. Yeah. How do we treat this with mm. uh? Hmm. It's it's a bad response in a way. No, ba it bad is... request. Well, you're requesting something yeah. that's not like you know correct yeah it's a know. general 400 that's true yeah yeah that's fine we can leave it at this and if it's not then like we already have a return it continues yeah. here it gets a feed url and oh then... it just don't don't do the await again we can just do a list of urls right. and zero yeah of course yes list of I, URLs I think I, I i think i found one url or like one blog that mm -hmm. i think it has multiple feeds but we need to check okay can you spell that out for me so i can type it yeah uh the url is stefan Yudis. stefan Yudis, like this yeah dot com dot com okay so we do a send we do a send no it returned only once what the Okay, let's check out what does list of URLs contain. Yeah, because oh, if you go list. to feeds, he has, and here are some more feeds if you're interested in a specific topic. Notes today I learned in snippets. But his posts are on slash rss.xml, and that's what mm. maybe that's what uh, it picks what up on. Fine, yes. Okay, let's see what's going on here. It says, uh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, it's only one. You see that rss.xml, but he has multiples. Okay. Does Are they maybe a duplicate of uh, the same feed? Does it have any kind of control for that thing? That's that's what I'm wondering, because it, I do specifically remember this thing returning uh, yeah. multiple URLs for some feed or the other, something that you tested already. I'm not sure. Hmm. What did we try last time? Do you remember that? What were the feeds? You probably have them in Postman in history or something like that. Can you check that? I think it was just mine and yours. No, I think we did Smashing Magazine as well. We did something else. Oh, actually we did. Yeah, let me see. Let's see what happens with Smashing Magazine. Uh, the multiple? last one I have is from Google. Mm -hmm. No, but that, that one's an error. And yeah. Does it keep history somewhere or not? It should keep... Hmm. Or maybe history. I'm mistaking with insomnia. I'm not sure. No, actually it does. Yeah, let's see. We got Google. We got Darko IO. Mm -hmm. We got Darko IO again. We mm -hmm. got mine. Smashing Magazine. Maybe we should try Smashing Magazine. I tried it. It just gives me one. Chris Coyer. Hmm. Okay. Let's do Chris Coyer. It was dot com, right? Chris dot net. Coyer dot net. This was this was maybe. We'll see. No single no, one again. once again. Hmm. This is interesting. Like it has. Uh no, the array contains just a single one. It is a an array. One. But just a single one. Like, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, let's try to find, you know, if we try to find one of the URLs that contains multiple, like one domain that contains multiple feeds, then we'll mm -hmm. we'll test it out. But for now, I, I guess we can just, you know, move on. Yeah. Plus, we we'll got like three this. minutes, man. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's do the checkpoint somewhere. So yeah. check if you feed. We're here, I suppose. Yeah. We should do this thing, like continue down this path. I mean, we're partially done with that. Yeah. Actually, we should probably put it here because yeah. we have all of that other stuff covered already. And mm. the thing that we need to still do is like error checking, yeah. uh, check whether a feed is available of all of that stuff, whether the parsing does okay or not, and then yeah. write that thing in the data. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a that sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. 
Cool. Okay, so yo, I think I think we did plenty of, you know, progress. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was like pretty fun. I have to yeah. agree. Like driving was also fun. Like <laughs> <laughs> I could do it again, sure. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun for me because I was just chilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. So, okay. We'll we'll figure out the next stream and we'll just post in Discord, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks again for, you know, hanging out. Anytime, man. You got yeah, it was it fun. It was really fun. All right. And thanks everyone for tuning in. All right. I can see seven of you right now. Thanks a bunch.